Hey there, this is an Aurelia account video intended to fill you in on everything you need to know to deal with Aurelia when she's on the opposite team. So first off, what does Aurelia do? Aurelia is a highly mobile duelist who darts around the battlefield as she pleases, dishing out consistent burst damage. Aurelia excels at abusing leads and snowballing games due to her impressive dive potential. And she has a ton of sustain during fights due to her itemization and Q reset and thrives when fighting in minion waves. Let's talk about the strengths and weaknesses of Aurelia. Aurelia's strength is that she has one of the best snowball potentials in the game and can be really hard to deal with when she's ahead. She has insane mobility and she can be super difficult to lock down, making her an exceptional tower diver. She also has crazy sustain due to itemization, runes and a kit complementing each other so perfectly. Aurelia can dominate when ahead in split push scenarios, making her very difficult to play against. As for her weaknesses, Aurelia can really struggle to do her job when she gets behind and may never get back into the game if so. Aurelia has a pretty high skill ceiling and is difficult to learn how to actually play throughout the course of the game. Aurelia also didn't have the best late game in the world due to being quite hard to play in team fights when enemies are grouped up and ready for her. So we're going to dive in specifically how to counter Aurelia, but first here's an overview of the major tips that we'll be breaking down further in this video. So first off, play around a passive. Aurelia gains stacks of a passive from hidden minions or enemy champions with her abilities. This is super easy for her to stack on minion waves. When she hits max stacks, she gains bonus magic damage on her attacks and attack speed, so do not fight her here as this is when she's at her strongest. Be careful of low HP minions. Aurelia will use low HP minions to gap close with the Q while also resetting it. She'll often keep low HP minions around to abuse this, so stay well clear to avoid easy access for her. Watch your W. Aurelia's W offers significant damage reduction while she's charging it, so make sure you don't waste any major cooldowns on this ability. Try to dodge it too, as it can deal some hefty burst. Dodge your stun. Aurelia's stun is actually quite straightforward, but usually she will camouflage it with her other abilities. If she casts the first part, back off and wait for it to expire. And finally, don't get hit by her ultimate. Aurelia's ultimate will slow you down significantly, but not only that, it will give her more Q resets, meaning more burst and more kill potential. Stay clear of this if you can. It's always good to think about when a champion is strongest or weakest. Aurelia is strongest in the mid game, where she can completely abuse her early game advantage and dive enemy champions repeatedly. She can 1v2 or even 1v3 with ease when she has a lead, so expect her to thrive when split pushing. Aurelia is weakest in the late game, where her opponents look to group and fight together. Aurelia can really struggle playing to her advantages in team fights. She may not be able to deal with champions with heavy crowd control and peel. So let's dive into Aurelia's early game and how we handle her there. This is really where you need to play your best when facing Aurelia. This is when she wants to get as much of a lead as possible going into the mid game. Try to avoid giving her any early advantages for free and look to punish her if she plays too aggressively. The most important part is respecting her passive and minion waves as we discussed earlier. She bounces around minions stacking her passive and then fighting you with her extra burst. Don't be afraid to give her some space until the minion wave is clear before looking to fight. Make sure you are punishing Aurelia when her ability is on cooldown. Early game she is so reliant on her stun and her W in fights, so without them she's pretty easy to take out. Aurelia depends on her ultimate, her passive and her Q resets to burst down her enemies. If you find yourself fighting her when she can't utilize these things fully, in the early game she should be fairly easy to take out, especially with a few teammates. Aurelia's mid game depends on how much of a lead she got in the early game. However, due to her ability to farm quite often, even if she doesn't have a crazy amount of kills, her CS will more than make up for it and she should still have a core item build by now. If she's super far ahead though, you'll want to completely avoid fighting her as the mid game is where she signs the most. Aurelia has a tendency to split push in the mid game and really abuse the map by bringing people to deal with her and then taking them out easily with her burst and mobility. Try to abuse this by taking objectives of the map, but really be careful of her teleport as you can easily fly in and clean your team up. Don't fight Aurelia solo at any point in the mid game unless you're a very uniquely similar champion and further ahead than her. Any other champion however should avoid her at all costs and bring friends with you to take her out. Aurelia will have a tendency to play very over aggressive in the mid game as she will know this is her strongest part of the game. Abuse this by catching her out when she overextends, especially if there are no minions nearby for her to jump around and stack her passive. Finally onto Aurelia's late game. At this point Aurelia is still strong but everyone has usually caught up with her by now and will have items that can deal with it easier. We'll talk some more about itemization a bit later on, but you should still remember that even though she isn't quite as effective as a mid game, she's still an absolute force to be reckoned with. Crowd control is a huge part of taking a rally off the map late game. Point and click or large area CC is ideal due to her ability to dart around fights with a Q. If your teammates lie on that crowd control, be sure to chain it and burst her down before she gets free and heals back all of the damage. Stay grouped up. We cannot express this enough. Aurelia really struggles to deal with peeling champions in CC, so stick with your teammates and take her out in a group. If you fight her on her own, she'll be a monster and very hard to take down. Let's talk a bit about the itemization that we can use to deal with Aurelia. So first off, this is a no-brainer, anti-heal. Aurelia's sustaining healing is pretty ridiculous when she has a few items due to her ability to heal so quickly through minion waves and lines of enemies. 
make sure you're picking up anti heal if you want to take her out. Frozen Heart of Randuin's Omen. Both of these items reduce enemy attack speed, which will really help out your chances of nullifying Aurelia's damage. Zonia's or Guardian Angel. This one is dependent on your role, but if you're struggling to survive against Aurelia in teamfights, this can be an easy but expensive way to stand a better chance. That wraps everything up for Aurelia counter video. If you enjoyed this video, then you can find more counter videos on our website in the playlist link below, and be sure to subscribe to be alerted for when we cover a new champion. Thanks for watching, we look forward to seeing you again.